Well, welcome to my latest video, my third video of the day. I'm going to do three tomorrow, two of these, and my next Hall of Fame entries. Um, and I'm going to, of course, get three or four more ready, trying to get to those last ten. On this video, we're going through Fighters 190 to 181. I've had some weirdos show up on my channel today, um, but I've swiftly got rid. Some absolute idiots today, if I'm honest. Uh, amongst the other good commenters. So, let us go, okay, to fighter 190, and it is Hall of Famer Frank Ernie. Frank Ernie beat three world champions. Frank Ernie had 12 fights against world champions. Um, and Frank Ernie fought 141 rounds against champions overall. Now, Frank Ernie beat three individual Hall of Fame fighters. He had nine fights against Hall of Famers, and he fought 115 rounds against Hall of Famers. Now, Frank Ernie comes in with a total of seven world title fights. He has made two defences and he has fought 94 title fight rounds. And Frank Ernie has a total of 12 fights against champions and Hall of Famers. His longest unbeaten run is an unbeaten run, including 29 fights. And Frank Ernie won one world title. So Frank Ernie is fighter 190. Um, I have a few controversial ones in this 10, um, you know, which actually my ratings updates have kind of combated um, after I've done them uh, to right a little bit of a wrong I found. <laughs> I'm glad my ratings updates have been good and kind of changed it around a bit, but I'll talk about that when we get to it. So there's Frank Ernie in fighter number 190. Now let's go, okay, down in weight, okay, um, to number 189, um, which is Santos Lassia. Santos Lassia um, beat seven world champions, um, you know, had 15 fights against world champions. And Santos Lassia had a total of 16 world title fights. He made nine title defences and Santos Lassia fought 177 title fight rounds. Now, Santos Lassia had 20 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He also comes in with 12 fights against top 3 rated fighters. And Santos Lassia was top 10 rated for 7 years. He was also top 3 rated for 3 years, but he was never a ring champion. Santos Lassia's longest unbeaten run was an unbeaten run of 31 fights. And Santos Lassia won 3 world titles. I was asked today about, you know, the years of fighters being a pro. And someone else asked me previously, could I put the fighters' records on here? I answered a gentleman today... You know, these slides are quite full already. I can't put loads more information on them, um, even though I may want to. You know, this is the same format I used on my top 400 of all time, um, and it's too late in day to change it. Um, you know, I can't put everything on here. I've put a selection of things on there, and I'll just go with it. You know, the internet is there for people to learn more about these fighters in many cases. So, number 188, okay, Terrible Terry McGovern, okay, this is a bit controversial to me, but I believe he has jumped up with my ratings adjustments. Terry McGovern beats seven world champions, and he had a total of 14 fights against world champions, and comes in with 96 rounds against champions. Terry McGovern beat three individual Hall of Famers, um, and had eight fights against Hall of Famers overall, and fought a total of 44 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, Terry McGovern had a total of 10 world title fights. He made seven title defences and he fought 48 title fight rounds. And Terry McGovern had a total of 14 fights against champions and Hall of Famers overall. The longest unbeaten run in his career was an unbeaten run of 41 fights. And terrible Terry McGovern, okay, who was a great puncher, won two world titles. Actually, just quickly, once this top 500's done, I am going to do a little 30 minute, 45 minute hangout. Just detailing some changes in top 500 from this one to the six rating adjustments I've put in that have changed things around. I'm just going to do a little highlight on some fighters to give you an idea of where some fighters have moved, where they've dropped, etc. So that will be coming after this playlist is finished. So let's go to number 187. It is Bob Godwin, okay? Bob Godwin has an underrated resume. He beat three world champions, um, and he had 24 fights against world champions overall. Now, Bob Godwin had two world title fights. He made zero title defences and fought a total of 14 title fight rounds. Now, Bob Godwin comes in with a total of 37 fights against top 10 rated opponents. He also, in his career, racked up 26 fights against top three rated opponents. And Bob Godwin was top 10 rated for only two years. He was top three rated also for one year, but he was a ring champion for zero years. The longest unbeaten run in the career of Bob Godwin was an unbeaten run of 30 fights, and Bob Godwin won one world title overall. So another light heavyweight, okay, the light heavyweight division has a very, very rich history, uh, is also for me one of the hardest divisions to pick a top 10 for, um, you know, especially when you get Tony, Azard Charles, John Henry Lewis, Harold Johnson, 
I think it's one of the harder divisions um, that I had to pick a top 10 in, if I'm honest. Many, many good fighters. So let's go to an underrated fight, as many people say he should be a Hall of Famer. Number 186, Tony Chucko. Tony Chucko beat a total of seven world champions and had a total of 16 fights against world champions. Now, Tony Chucko did not get a world title fight, so zero world title fights. Thus, he made zero title defences and fought zero title fight rounds. And Tony Chucko comes in with a total of 43 fights against top 10 rated opponents. He also, in his career, had a total of 27 fights against top three rated opponents. Um, which, to give you a clue, is not as many as Manny Pacquiao. Because <laughs> his videos come in after this playlist. Um, Tony Chucko was top 10 rated for three years. Um, he was top three, uh, three rated for two years. Um, and he was a ring champion for zero years. And Tony Chucko's longest unbeaten run was an unbeaten run of 20 fights. And he won zero world titles. He also beat a number of Hall of Famers, um, you know, and was an outstanding fighter. You know, um, a number of people feel he should be in the Hall. Uh, and I kind of second that in a way. Despite the fact he never held the title, he has a, a vast resume um, and a full resume as well. So now this is one of my contentious ones. In number 185 is Felix Trinidad. Now, the reason this is contentious is because there's a fighter rated earlier on, later on this video who I cannot rate um, above Trinidad. But I'll get to that. So Felix Trinidad beat 12 world champions. He had 15 fights against world champions, of course. Um, and Felix Trinidad, over three weights, he titled in, uh, two he unified in, had 21 world title fights. He made 17 title defences and fought 135 title fight rounds. Now, Felix Trinidad had 19 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He also had 15 fights against top three rated fighters. And Felix Trinidad was top 10 rated for 10 years. Um, he was top 3 rated for 9 years, but he never held the ring title. The longest unbeaten run prior to losing to Hopkins was an unbeaten run of 40 fights. Thus encompassing all his like middleweight and welterweight runs. And all in all, he won 5 world titles. Now, just a quick note. Felix Trinidad, with the rating adjustments, has moved up to 165 on my new top 500. Okay, So the fighter below, below him on this countdown... In fact, let me go through that when I get to it. So Trinidad in new ratings is 165, okay? So number 184 on this rating is Freddie Steele. Now, Freddie Steele um, is one of the middleweight great fighters. He beat eight world champions, and he had 15 fights against world champions. Freddie Steele also comes in with a total of seven world title fights. He made five title defences and fought a total of 55 title fight rounds. Now, Freddie Steele had 25 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had 20 fights against top 3 rated fighters. And Freddie Steele was top 10 rated, okay, for a period of four years. He was top 3 rated for three years, and he was a ring champion for one year. The longest unbeaten run in the career of Freddie Steele was a massive past half century unbeaten run of 55 fights, barring all factors, and Freddie Steele won two world titles. When people talk top 10 middleweights, I've seen many lists that don't even include Freddie Steele. Um, but there are many ways that he could be included. You know, there were Hagler, Monzone, Tommy Ryan, you know, uh, Mickey Walker, many others. Definitely a fighter worthy of praise as an, as, as an ATG middleweight. So now let's go to number 83, OK? The stigma I had about him being above Trinidad. It is five-time featherweight champion Manuel Medina. Now, in the rating adjustments, Medina drops to 184. Trinidad has now rightfully taken his place above him. Because I had a bit of an issue with this one. Even though I'll never change my ratings and they're all scored the same, I still have issues with some of them. Okay. So, the five-time featherweight champion Medina beat 10 world champions. He had a massive 25 fights against world champions. And Manuel Medina comes in with a massive total of 21 world title fights. He made five title defences and fought 225 title fight rounds. Now, Manuel Medina had 30 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He also had 14 fights against top 3 rated fighters. And Manuel Medina is one of the longer rated featherweights of all time. Top 10 rated for 12 years. He was top 3 rated for 4 years and a ring champion for 0 years. The longest unbeaten run in the career of Manuel Medina was an unbeaten run of 27 fights. And of course, being the only the second 5-time champion in one division following Ray Robinson, he won 5 world titles. I'm really glad that in my ratings adjustment, Trinidad is above Medina. I'll, I'll just get that little caveat in. 
So let's go to number 182, okay, it is former light heavyweight um, champion Bob Moha, okay, Bob Moha beat four world champions um, and he had a total of 17 fights against world champions and Bob Moha comes in having fought 187 rounds against champions. Now Bob Moha beat three individual Hall of Fame fighters in his career, um, he had 21 fights against Hall of Famers and he fought a total of 208 rounds against Hall of Famers and Bob Moha had two world title fights. He made zero title defences and fought 22 title fight rounds. Now, Bob Moha, all in all, had 23 fights against champions and Hall of Famers. His longest unbeaten run was an unbeaten run of 15 fights and he won one world title. You know, Bob Moha fought in the era of the great Harry Greb, etc., etc., uh, and Greb could really give him some whippings. But Bob Moha, in his own way, was a very capable fighter. Greb could give great fighters whippings, if you get me. Uh, so that's no real um, down speaking on Bob Moha. But he was a very good fighter in his own right. So now let's go to number 181, okay? It is the four-time line middleweight champion, Terrible Terry Norris. Terry Norris beat a, a large number of world champions, beat 16 world champions, and Terry Norris had 22 fights against world champions overall. Now, Terry Norris comes in with an equally staggering, like a few fighters on this playlist, uh, playlist of 10, with over 20 world title fights, coming in with a huge 25 world title fights, Terry Norris made 16 title defences and fought 157 title fight rounds. Now, Terry Norris had 23 fights against top 10 rated fighters, and he had 14 fights against top 3 rated fighters. And Terry Norris was top 10 rated for 9 years, he was top 3 rated for 6 years, but he was never a ring champion. The longest unbeaten run of Terry Norris was an unbeaten run of 15 fights. And all in all, okay, terrible Terry Norris won four world titles and he's one of the great light middleweight champions. So there's my latest video. Every video now I get closer to doing Fighter 501, which I'm cheating a bit by putting him in before he retires, Manny Pacquiao's video, which will also have Manny Pacquiao's all-time placing in my top 500. Every video I do, I get a bit closer to doing that long-awaited video I've been waiting years to do. I'm out for now.